Terox community, welcome to our weekly trade of the week video. We saw a digital asset market that saw huge sellers last week. So after January, we saw just upward trends and now we had a first selling pressure. The market dipped quite a lot, but this is as well giving chances for buying back the dips. And due to this, we had positions, several positions and with them as well, Litecoin and Ethereum and both we could sell near the 10% profit. If I'm taking a look on Ethereum um, with a bigger picture, so to speak, we can see easily that we had an all-time high build it in Ethereum near $2,040. So based from this all-time high, we then saw huge sell-offs from the highest to the lowest point within a week. We had a dip of around 36% in value so this is quite huge and if i'm scrolling out you will see it nearly washed out all the profits from the whole february and if i'm now bringing in a support line over here we can see that this starting point from february was exactly the buy back point for most of the people so what's quite interesting that we saw in these sell-offs always buy backs so this is quite interesting an asset is not just falling down but as well there is a buying pressure and so we had a first support and build it and this we used as well for our first entry point so what is quite interesting to see is that we build it a double support over here how you can see we touched the level two times and then the market waved up so from this level onwards the market waved up 17 percent from this 17 percent we booked more than 10 percent as a profit so this is quite good for this market environment and for this high volatile style and the market then dropped a little we went out of this market to secure the profits and then we saw from this 17 percent um, rise that the market as well again went down 23.5 percent so huge volatility just one chance to buy back the market and if you're taking a look on the date range you will see how important it is to be there when it's time so within eight days there was just one good opportunity to buy back the market and then after the support we built it before broke it was tested multiple times but then it broke uh, the market saw how I said these sell-offs and then quite interesting the support acted as a resistance short term over here so to speak the support is now a resistance and as we broke the resistance the market nearly flew away so basically this was as well a good buying back point as well after the sell-off we just saw green candles the last 10 12 hours it's a crazy market so to speak we waved up from the lowest point already again more than 20 percent but if i'm taking a look on the all-time high from these levels onwards it's more than 50 percent gain what we need to be back near the all-time high so what is quite interesting we have built it in resistance at around 1700 this could be a first stop for ethereum within the next days if we broke this as well how i said there is a small um thing you can uh call a resistance at around 1800 but all the other um, room is so to speak free for ethereum so here we can expect high volatility if the market is not turning down again if we're taking a short look on bitcoin we can see exactly the same pattern that we saw in ethereum the volatility was not that high um, this is why bitcoin is having a more stable market cap there are more institutions in so this is the reason why bitcoin is so to speak a little more stable than ethereum but what we saw over here is exactly um the same pattern so we saw huge sell-off and based on the price level from the highest to the lowest point it was just 26 percent instead of 36 percent but the dip as well was finished within a few days as well we saw a support building scenario first in bitcoin over here so the market held the 45k line we then as well waved up in bitcoin um, around 15 14 percent and we built it and resistance and this is quite interesting um over here at around 51,500. we then wave down the bitcoin again how i said like in ethereum the same support so we build it two supports one support one higher and one lowest support it's exactly like ethereum how you can see over here 
and then we bottomed out from this bottoming out the market is already up around 20 percent so quite good buyback scenarios in the market we as well did um the buying back so buyback the dip was very strong and this resistance we build it at around the 25th of February. Now as well it's touched again for the first time again. So here we can see some fights with this resistance. Once this is broken, we could easily wave up more. The world market is giving good background. Then we're having next um, support at around 55k before waving up to the all-time high but all in all the market bottoming out again after a huge sell-off but as well huge sell-offs are healthy corrections in bull markets an asset can't just wave up so always use the dips to buy back all in all quite a high volatile market with high risk so buy back the dip was definitely the right choice the last week hope you like this video if you do so i would love to comment like or share this video and we will hear us next time when it comes to weekly trade of the week provided by t -Rox.